Hello folks and welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today we're checking out a brand new airport by Burning Blue Design. This is Rochester Airport as you can see here and I mean let's not mess around here folks. It is absolutely stunning. I mean you know I'm a massive fan of Burning Blue Design. I think that's pretty obvious on the channel these days. I've pretty much reviewed all of their airports but look at this. This is absolutely just jaw-dropping for example just look at this guys this is off the perimeter now we've got a pc world we've got a pets at home uh, we've got a home base it looks so damn realistic and if we come over here we've got an argos we've also got an aldi and a kfc just absolutely amazing so i'm going to say that a lot folks in this video i can't help it it's just look look at it it's bite the back of your hand gorgeous I mean, what else can i say and over there you've got some industrial buildings the way it sort of sits as well quite high up and i've never been to rochester airport but um i mean i feel like i have now that's for sure especially in vr now of course being burning blue designs every time you go and visit this airport it's going to be different every time particularly as you know the cafe and the surrounding uh, sort of cars and people are all going to dynamically change in fact their previous airfield denim aerodrome often when i go there and head to the cafe the the uh, the cake <laughs> on sale is sometimes completely sold out sometimes there'll be one slice left just that kind of level of detail is amazing and i love it even the control tower as well has a working clock and I do believe this one has one as well so let's just have a look here I'm just going nice and slow in Dromo to soak in all of this detail I mean I tell you what right there that could be my thumbnail because that is just gorgeous especially with the sun behind us it just looks so nice we've got a chipmunk there very very nice indeed and we'll just head to the control tower here and just check out the visuals Right, so now we've made it over to the control tower. As you can see, I love all the weathering effects. And say, for instance, you want to try and find an area where they haven't modelled, you know, to kind of catch them out. We'll go in this door here. But lo and behold, I have to be really careful with the drone here. Look at that. You can go up the stairs, which are also very well modelled. And now we're inside the control tower. Even the clock is animated. Look at that. <laughs> I love that. That is brilliant. So, folks, really, um, I couldn't recommend this enough, to be honest. I mean, I could spend hours. In fact, I will spend hours enjoying this scenery, particularly as well in VR doing circuits. Um, but it really is a superb effort by Burning Blue Design. I mean, I don't know how they're knocking these airfields out of the park as quick as they are. But, um, yeah, it's, it's funny, really, because you think the quality would suffer but as you can see here, not at all, not even the slightest. Let's just uh, speed up the drone a little bit here because uh, it's actually quite a, a large airport. Um, and yet the frame rate is superb. They've done a fantastic job here because look, it's just littered with assets all around, you know, the sort of perimeter, not just within the airfield itself. God, yeah absolutely fantastic what if these are uh, tennis courts are uh, sort of modeled with a texture there as well very very sharp all around oh look at that bae systems i never knew they were here that's kind of cool just look at it i could just be toying around here forever so really folks that's just a very quick first look i wish i had more time to show you it um but i think you get the idea in terms of you know whether it's worth it i mean yes absolutely i mean it's like what 12 13 pounds for something of this detail it's a you know an airport you'll be coming back to for probably months even years to come i'm just having a look around here folks i'm just getting distracted all the time we've got some caravans over here as well we'll just zoom out so you can see what it looks like from really high up very well in its surroundings as you'd expect so folks i hope you enjoyed that very quick first look at Rochester Airport. I think it's a fantastic effort. In fact, it's one of their best, without a doubt. Um, I'll have all the links in the description below. Go grab it now. Support developers like this because we need to see this more and more in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Thank you so much for watching, folks, as always, and I'll see you again very soon.
Before I forget, I must uh, warn you that actually I'm in the scenery here. So if you do see me lurking about, I'm probably just after a cup of coffee or some spare chains for a burger. But <laughs> just to say to Adam and Mike, thank you so much. It's always an honor to actually be in your scenery like this. And uh, yeah, that's just the, the coolest thing ever. So thank you for that. Anyway, I'm definitely going now and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye for now.